Welcome to the first episode of Cast Ranger recorded on my brand new stable internet for the first time in a fucking year. All right, new stable. <laughs> yeah, this is really great audio quality, guys. This is really awesome. Come on, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> recorded in 480p. <laughs> oh, God. What is this, 2008? Recorded with a piece of toast and a potato. <laughs> Wait, so how many parts of Cast Ranger would it have to be? Because it's like 10 minutes. Oh, audio. oh yeah. Right. I, I hated those days <laughs> so much. Imagine if we still had to upload in 10 minute chunks. Oh, God. Three quarter of my fucking videos on my YouTube channel are just 10 minute fucking videos of like Dragon Ball fights. <laughs> oh, shit. Also, when you think of it, this is how your voice would sound like if you were actually in a corner of your helmet. What would it sound like? like very muffled. What would it sound like oh. if you cued the roll call? Uh, cue the roll call. We are live! Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Tempered Zeal! Bluecaster? Super Ichi! Loud and Impulsive! Greycaster! Late! Researcher of the Tokuverse, Ultracaster, Gar. A spark of courage, the power of dreams. Orange Caster, Global Soft Perka. Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world. Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. On air. Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, episode 398. Wait your fucking turn, we'll get to that. Da da pen, da da it's pen. episode Star Raptor. Alright, last one. I agree. AKA uh, the, the emo bird. Incredible. Emo bird. Yeah, look at its hair. No, the best bird Pokemon's Cramoran. I named mine Gary and I love him very much. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. A what? Cramorant, <laughs> the one that's deep throating it, fucking fish. And yeah, he shoots he, he, he shoot shoes out of his mouth. Oh, the, oh, the one from Sword and Shield. Yeah, yeah fucking love. Uh, I, fucking I, love I, that Pokemon. I, I think maybe once I'm done my comic backlog, I might start my video game backlog. Well, you have a couple of months until fucking Scarlet Violet come out, so get on that. Yeah. Wait, Scarlet Johansson has her own Pokemon game now? Yes. There's oh, a dog. Sweet. There's a dog made entirely as, out of bread. As long as you have no follow-up questions, yes. Yeah, Cramorant. I love him. <laughs> Cramorant, the Vor He's Pokemon. I'm not wrong. Uh -huh. He's a purebred dog. Anyways, we're a bunch of bird Pokemon that flock together every week to talk about Common Rider, Super Sentai, and a third thing. Yeah. And the third thing actually is a Common Rider thing. Yeah. And so, what's yeah. weird? What's what's really weird about it? It takes place directly after episode forty-six of Revice. Hell yeah! Killer timing. Coincidence? Um, like, I think so. Yeah, I, I, like I'm watching it and I'm like, wait a minute. I look it up. Oh my goodness, we timed this perfectly. We've done it. <laughs> yeah, now, but the thing that we... the thing that sucks is is that we like. We now got we have this to wait episode. for the movie. Yeah, we got the prequel to the movie. Now we have to wait fucking God knows how many months to fucking watch the movie. Uh, yes, sir. That's the life four, of a Western Toku fan. Four. Five, <laughs> That's fine. Are you buying Pokemon Ryuki or Pokemon Knight? I'm buying the Violet because the tech, the tech one looks cooler. Yeah, Agreed. but I'm buying future stuff better too. Yeah. Fucking Coridon doesn't even drive around on its wheels. What the fuck? I, I think I my theory is that the Violet Legendary is a artificial Pokemon based off of the Scarlet Legendary. That's there's why they look similar. There's definitely a past and future thing going on with them. Yeah. So they're like, hey, we'll make the artificial one actually use its wheels. <laughs> anyway, oh, the funny meme. anyway, we've digressed long enough. So before we get into news. Yeah. This week we're going to be discussing Revice episode 46, 
Don Brothers episode 22, and our feature topic is the Revice Birth of Chimera special. Oh, fuck. Hey, I didn't. I totally forgot how long of a title this thing actually has. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Comrade Revice, delivery drama, a prequel, like, movie, Birth of Chimera. It's like, oh my goodness, guys, so I, many words. Welcome to Just Tokusatsu. Like, our fucking feature like- topic from last week was... Uh, Go Kaiger X2 Kaiger June Brides Have a Taste for Tanuki Which I briefly want to talk about that Since I watched it afterwards Sure Like, a- like after the show That was so much better than the actual crossover With Kira Major <laughs> Well like, yeah like, but like, it, it was so adorably fun And then it got it's... creepy when, it, when we found out that it was about a monster With a fetish for getting beaten up by pirate women Oh, oh my no, god no, that, that just made it more disturbing I love it so much because it just They, Please... they went all out Sorry about Emily No it's okay Um Anyways, so what do we got for news? All right, it's time for news mode. News mode. News mode. First up on the docket, we got our first proper look at Common Rider Buffa. Is it Buffa or Buffer? Do we I know? think it's I think it's supposed to be Buffa because like if you say it in Japanese, it sounds like Buffer. So they are just buff- taking the name from the beast Common Rider beast form. <laughs> Guys, that's common. Ra- that, that, that's clearly Ultraman Belial with anyways, a friggin' what the fuck is this art? Anyways, Buffa's not fucking important. What's important is is Common Rider to Pan. We'll get to the him. One thing at a time. Rider. The Panda Rider. <laughs> One thing at a time. Jesus Christ. I love big round animalistic helmet, and I love the star eye. Anyway, yeah, so this is Comrade Buff uh, uh, with the zombie form. I don't think he's using a... According to the image, he's not using a bottom piece in his base form, I guess. Giggity. My first thought looking at this, he's purple. He's got got shuriken-shaped eyes. Take that, Shinobi stands. Oh, but I want Shinobi. (laughs) Shinobi will probably get one more spinoff feature if the suit's still around. Anyway, this guy's fucking emanating heavy Belial energy, and I love it, so... Oh, no, the freaking evil eyes, the fingers, the... (laughs) The giant fucking claws. I was about to say the (laughs) giant-ass demon claws. Here comes Uh, uh, Oh, I can't remember who brought it up, but, um... His eyes also look like Dark Lugiel from uh, Ultraman Ginga, which I'm like, yeah, I can see. Also, Also, I got Ichi to shop the... Chop these, and I love it <laughs> a lot. Boost, boost, and <laughs> magnum, I, magnum. I, 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 yeah, I kind of want to see if we can actually do boost, boost, magnum, magnum. Sure, you can. Like, I can't think of a reason why not, unless they only accept certain ones on each side. Also, I know well, it's obvious, but someone also shopped magnum with both, uh, like top and bottom, and for boost we, as well. These, I be, love it. These should be possible because even if, like. Because Magnum and Boost in the forms on the sides that they're supposed to be on, you can rotate the belt to swap them. So it stands to reason that they should be usable in either slot. Also, I, I actually like that if you... Because you can see both of them like on the, the body, you can actually see that like the top armor is exactly the same like the bottom armor. Like, it's just... It swaps. So well, it's great. And that plays into another news story we're going to get into in a little bit. But, uh, so yeah. Mm-hmm. This is Buffa. He's interesting. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, and we had a magazine Badass. cover show off uh, some of the other writers. We have Kamen Rider Tycoon, which is the Tanuki. We have Kamen Rider Nago, which is a cat. And, of course, the star of the show, Kamen Rider Depan, the panda. Rider Depan. With the big, goofy, <laughs> round helmet and the star eye. I love it. I'm sorry. I know it's... I know it's... <laughs> No, it's it's objectively dumb, but I I still really like it. Oh it, no, it, Emily, I'm with you on it. Oh no, it, it's not that it's dumb. I just I don't like how naked the rest of the suits are. These are their entry forms that we haven't even seen what rise buckles, raise buckles they're actually going to use. I I know, but just like these are literally just their entry forms. Or in Nago's people, case, we see them using hammer. People are saying that Depan uh, is the first to use Magnum, and then that's where Geats gets it from. Wow, he looks so good in orange! Yeah, for some reason, I, people on our Discord shopped him into a pumpkin head. I, I like it just because um, 
because like pandas are one of my favorite bears uh because pandas are fucking adorable as shit and also just the giant head reminds me of black manta who's my favorite dc villain because i love his big stupid laser eye head <laughs> tiger tycoon who is a tanuki yeah a tanuki tycoon? oh no it's tom no <laughs> i kind of don't like any of these no of course no, you don't uh, no ichi i'm with you but i think we both dislike them for different reasons what if these also, are what if all three of these are the joke characters they're just like the first episode riders we see, and then they just get fucking axed. I'm, I, I'm going to, at this point. It's been talked about in our Discord server. I'm pretty sure the community as a whole is ready to declare Japan the one who's going to die on Christmas. Oh, uh, the laser of fucking. <laughs> he has a crossbow. No, you know what? Buffa's probably going to come in and just fucking PK all of them. Fucking probably. But also, people are like, yay, gun panda, and I'm like, guys, it's not the first gun panda we've gotten. For it's things Ichi does like, there's this. We got the scouting panda raider. Yeah, Emily showed me these fucking Pepsi Aww. charms. <laughs> yeah, they're adorable. on Pepsis, and I absolutely love them, and if you want any of them, I will add one to an order next time I do an order. Yo, is that Pepsi 80 at the bottom there from Back to the Future 2? I, I just wish there was a Diet Pepsi one. Diet Pepsi, maybe if they do like an set. But uh, back to searching Panda real quick or scouting, whichever the fuck one it was. I'm still pissed that we never actually got to see the the Raid Rise henchin for that one. Raid Rise. Um, but anyways, for for now, I'm rooting for Japan. A lot of people are saying that's probably going to be a female rider, which I I don't doubt it. It'll probably be female uh, rider. I could see it being a guy, like like a joke. I mean, I'd, I'd, joke type. I'd character. like I'd like it to be a guy, but if it's a female, I don't have a problem with it. Nago kind of gives off female vibes because you know oh, Nago is definitely a female. <laughs> definitely a female. Mm. Hope he's a dick. A tycoon? Who the <laughs> fuck knows? You got the female rider. All right. So, next so, news so story. Like, Sorry. Oh, uh, I was just going to lead us into our next news story. Yeah. So we have another Legend Rider raise buckle announced, and this is the zero one one. <laughs> and it looks like, yeah, I, based on this and the revised ones, it's pretty safe to say that all of the Rider Legend buckles are just going to be their belts, and you just like rotate them to activate them. And then they, uh, and then they just do the the base form chime of that yeah. rider. So it, it does the a jump to the sky turns to a rider kick. Oh my goodness, we can have the James speak back. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to buy the zero one raise buckle, five fifty in releasing September third. Oh yeah. Neat. I like the color of it. Yeah. I, think I like the yellow on it. Yeah, highlighter yellow. Yeah, oh my goodness, it is highlighter yellow. I, I'm actually super curious to see like how this looks in terms of the actual suit. Because the you don't see it too well on the box. I'm curious to know how big these things are. Mm, I don't think they're too big. Because remember, this is a belt that, child, that they expect children to wear. Yeah. True. But then again, the vice stamps are freaking massive. They are a little bigger than I expected, but not a lot. I hope they do a drive one, and then I'll just do drive and boost, and it'll be fucking awesome. <laughs> that actually would look good. Yeah, because it'll be, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. someone shot them. Oh, okay, so it's, so it's just like the weapon ones. Yeah, and then they get he gets the uh, fucking Tash sword or whatever the yeah, fuck it's called. Yeah, Tash caliber. The, 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 the suit sword. The suit sword, yeah. Because it's, it's suitcase and sword. The suit yeah. sword. All right. may, I, may I ask something? Yeah. I really, really don't need more news stories, but I actually have two things to add to news. One is pre we can skip it if you want. Um, but the other is actually related to Dawn Brothers, so... Okay. Okay. Um, What's the Dawn Brothers news? Yeah, the Dawn Brothers news is that just yesterday, they announced this. Oh, oh, it's oh, the plushies. The, the plushies of the, the alien heads. Yeah. They're the, the no story. Story. Yeah. They're they're growing on me now, I'll admit. Yeah. I, I they're they're really interesting. I like them. Uh the other is they started doing the same thing with precure that they that they are doing with 
with the live action hero shows, and they're doing plushies of everybody. Nice. So we have plushies of the villains from Delicious Party. Secretary Rosemary, and though. Rosemary, one character who hasn't gotten a plushie, and I think the reason why is because in the movie he gets turned into a plushie, and they're waiting to make it as a tie-in. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. I was gonna be like, no Rosemary plushie, it's a fucking crime. Yeah. Either that or he's just not gonna ever get one. I like the Zenkaiser Black plushie, it's adorable. <laughs> it is. Oh, man, look at Kaito there with his little bow tie. Little apron. All right. All right. Moving on to our next news story more raised buckles. In this case, the shield and the arrow. And I, there you go, Ichi. I wish it's the Ichi kid. <laughs> I wish so hard that the colors were swapped because I would have liked a blue arrow buckle way better. Man, I really like shield though. Yeah. Yeah. It looks just I'll, probably, like... I'll probably have to get the set because Depan uses it. So, yeah. Depan uses a shield? Cool. Well, no, well, no Depan uses the crossbow. Yeah, he uses the crossbow. Oh, yeah, the crossbow. Who uses the shield then? We have no idea. Captain America. We do not know. Okay. Captain America. Captain well, America. Yes. This mighty shield. And... Um, so, yeah, it looks like when you put these in the belt, you press the shield down to activate it, and the air for the arrow, you like pull the 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 wind back to like, as if you were shooting it. That's pretty cute. A shield, though, on. <laughs> um. So these are eleven hundred yen for the set of two. Also releasing September third. All right. All right. Next, we have images of the gun. Uh, the Magnum shooter, is it pronounced 40X or 40X? I don't know. Anyway, it's, Probably the Magnum, the 40X. it's the Magnum shooter, which comes with the water raise buckle. What's 40 in Japanese? Uh, Yonju. Oh, there you go. So the Yonju X, because isn't doesn't isn't gun like Ju in Japanese? Oh, that actually makes sense. Yeah, there you go. I mean, Jew is a lot of things. It also means so beast. It also means ten. Yeah, so it's the Yonju X. Yeah. Yeah, it means beast, ten, and and gun. I guess so. Yeah. Okay, sure. But yeah, this Anyways, is this is really it's cool. Sick. It's it, it starts out as this little hand pistol, and unlike other folding guns, it actually has a, a noticeable barrel in its folded mode. Take that, Gashikon Magnum. Oh, thank you, Deku, for shopping you. a blue arrow raised buckle. I love you, Gashikon Magnum. <laughs> um, but then the barrel folds out for its like rifle mode, and uh, at the bottom on the front, you can load a raised buckle into it. And uh, I saw an image of someone who, or there's an image where you can load the Magnum one into it, and it basically turns it into a Tommy gun. Yeah, like it, it, lo it looks like it has like an extra clip on the bottom, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope that when he does that, it's just like fucking rapid fire. Just like spins the barrel constantly. Apparently when you put uh, a raised buckle into that slot on the Magnum, the name of the finisher is Tactical Blast. That's good. Ooh. I like I like the sort of video game feeling yeah. it has. Mm -hmm. 100 full bullets. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... You know it's cool? No, it's a reference to Hawk Gatling from Build. Yeah, because like when he was like spinning the thing, it would go like 10, 20, 30, 40. Full bullet. Full bullets. All right, so this is 5720N, also releasing September 3rd. Very I'll be buying it day one. <laughs> Very cool. And I like that you can, you can holster it into the belts. Yeah, in the same so. slot that the raised buckles go in. Yeah, that's that's great. Modular. Full rest. I was trying to remember what our joke was. Full restaurant. Oh yeah, when well, we went to Wendy's and like after we ordered all our food, just there was a fucking line up at the door. We were like, "What?" Full restaurant. <laughs> Thank you. For... I was dragging Thank... my brain trying to remember what our bit was. Thank you, Blazy Coon. You really are a number one fan. All right, and next in the news, uh, guess what's back? Rider gimmick figures. All oh, right, I missed these. I just love this image because, like, Magnum Boost, and then ah! and then he swaps over to Boost Magnum. 
<laughs> for a, with a with an arm a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. <laughs> If it isn't my favorite rider, Common Rider Craig, with a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. <laughs> Common Rider Nick Riviera, remember me? <laughs> you, you, you guys do remember we had gimmick figures for Revice, right? No. Yeah, we had the Geomix line. Oh, yeah, they turned to the T-Rex. That's oh, right. <laughs> I forgot about them because it was the worst gimmick idea in the history of Rider, oh, and I blanked he, it out of my brain. He hated the remixes. That's oh, probably the one the, thing for Vice he didn't like. <laughs> that gimmick was a thing, and they just, even the show itself seemed to sort of act like it wasn't a thing later on. Until Ultimate Revice did it just to turn Vice into a fucking soccer ball. No, I, I kind of like Vice. Here, um, but yeah, one, so, so, one didn't have them, did they? So, so this is super interesting because the figure itself actually just fucking rotates to switch forms. <laughs> yep, like the legs and arms literally become the arms and legs of the other the other form. Yeah, he's got like he's got hands for feet and feet for hands. How, how does the head work? I think it like folds in the back or something. The mat, like the, he... the the fox mask, comes off. And then what's left of the head, I think, just gets, like, folded in the back. Because, like, in one photo, it shows that there's, like, two different heads. So, like, maybe yeah. the head rotates I around? I think it folds up from the back of the chest plate. You know what I mean? And, yeah. The, the inside of the leg looks super weird because they're supposed to be freaking... <laughs> it's supposed to be an arm. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll oh, just wait for I the see. figure. It's so, what, so the hands from the front view of each form are the bottom of the feet of when it switches modes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, cause he's, yeah, that's why he's got hand feet. Yeah, <laughs> feet hands. He has like some sort. Anyways, I'll I'll wait for the figure arts because that'll be better. <laughs> the figure features forty points of articulation. Oh, okay. Um, so this is thirty five twenty n September tenth release. Cool. All right. Next on the docket, we have a bunch of Common Rider double news since episode one of Futo Pi just aired. Oh my goodness! I don't care. Well, some of us do. So, uh, first off, they announced a bunch of complete selection modification things. Uh, the Double Driver Futo PI Edition, Gaia Memories Futo PI Edition, Excel Driver Futo PI Edition, Dopont Memories Futo PI Edition. So, uh, like, the only thing I can think of that would make this different is just they probably have, like, voice lines from the anime cast. That's yes, probably it. Because they're different voice actors. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I just think there should be more anime based on Toku. Absolutely. Yes. I'm, I've, we've been waiting for this series forever, and now it's finally airing, and uh, I've already watched the first episode, and I'm excited for more. Yeah. Based on anime. Either uh, way. Yeah. Um, so Sorry. We, we don't officially know yet what the differences with these versions of all of the things are yet, but uh, they will reveal those on August 9th when pre-orders open, and by then we should have more details such as pricing and release dates, along with uh, what will be different. Well, the guy in memory set probably has the memories from the anime manga. Yeah, like whatever, whatever, what's her face, like whatever memory she fucking has. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next, we have SH Figure Arts Shinko Choseho, the renewal figure of Kamen Rider Double Heat Metal, quote unquote, Futo PI edition. Yeah, it's like it's a re release, apparently. Yeah. Um,. Can you, can you, like, because I know with the O's figures, they, they're able to, like, change combos. Can you swap the, like, two no, ads? No, no. Because oh, I would love to do Luna Metal. That'd be sick. No, that's too much work. Oh. No, Not awesome. every figure it's going to be as amazing as Evolve. <laughs> um, Man, I want Luna Metal. 
Yeah. Best double. Uh, so apparently this figure is packaged with the second volume of the show's Blu-ray release. <laughs> the figure's not available on its own. Oh, okay. <laughs> to- Toe, I don't understand. Why are, why are we not getting as many fans as we were expecting? <laughs> Proceed to release a, a super expensive figure with a super expensive DVD release. I don't understand. What, what, where are we going wrong? <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Blu-ray comes with 7 to 12 of the series audio commentary there's a collector's pack with a bonus disc that contains quote unquote the first case event video special interviews making of creditless ending promotional videos blah 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 blah, blah. the figure comes with all the accessories of the previous released figure uh, the weapon the flames the pedestal effect parts uh, the metal shaft, two types of stag phones, heat and metal memories, interchangeable hands, premium Bandai web exclusive, 17,600 yen for regular version and 24,200 yen for collector's pack, both releasing in April. This oh. is my favorite picture. Yeah. <laughs> metal blending. And on the same note, we also have a Luna Trigger figure. There you go. I don't, I don't see it. It's on the list of news. Uh, oh, I just accidentally didn't upload it. Uh, same reaction. Oh. Yeah, so this one comes with the first volume of the Blu rays. Cool. <laughs> I like Heat Trigger. It's better. What the fuck? Uh, no. So, yeah, pretty much same price, same release date as the other one. Hmm. Wait, wait, same release date? Yep. April 2023. They're fucking savage. April? April of next year. <laughs> what the fuck? What the you, fuck? You know, months after the anime's finished airing. Yeah, of course. Japan takes fucking forever with everything. Lane, the freaking Godzilla singular point, like, Blu rays came out, like, two months after the show came out. Well, yeah, it's Godzilla. It's different. They treat Godzilla more with more care. <laughs> Like, it's their most successful franchise. What the fuck? Yeah, Ultraman, no. Ryder, no. Sentai, no. Godzilla, yes. Dishwasher. God- Godzilla's like the god, like the grandparent that you have he's to take fucking, care of. Yeah, he's the pioneer of fucking Dokusatsu. He's so. the godfather. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Zenkaiser well, speaking- figure art of Two Kaiser has been announced. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this figure looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. It does. It looks really good. The gold paint on him is really nice. I, I, I'm just upset that it's premium Bandai. Yep. 7,700 yep, yen, all, January release. Because all six strangers are fucking... It, it, I thought we learned from this. No. Making the Sentai figures premium Bandai killed the line yeah but it comes with the gear to linger in both gun and sword mode uh, like premium bandai should be saved for like repaints like zenkaiser black or zenkai red <laughs> not 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 rangers also uh, calling it now stacy's probably gonna get a figure art oh that one is Ooh, tempting teaser Stacey got it. Especially if it comes you know, in both forms. You know they'll do Zenkaiser Black because it's just fucking easy to... Oh, that's it. a Tomashi Nation's event repaint calling its name. Yep. Next on the release schedule, Zenkaiser Black. <laughs> Where, where's Zenkaiser Blue? Don't put ideas in my head. Just, just, just each season up to the 50th anniversary, we just get a different Zenkaiser. <laughs> Taito just keeps fucking jumping from Sentai to Sentai. Just eventually, yeah. Oh my god. Eventually, we just have a Zenkai Sentai. Yes. You see the fucking decade of Sentai? That's yeah, Gokai Red's job. Just, who are you? I'm Kaito, the janitor. <laughs> the janitor. I'm Zenkai yeah, Blue. Green. No, no, Zenkai Green's the janitor. Oh, yeah. Zenkai Yellow's the, the 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 famous celebrity. Zenkai Blue would be like a doctor. Yeah. 
Dr. Kaito. Dr. Kaito? I will say, I think it's a hilarious touch that for this ad for the figure of Two Kaiser, one of the art is the figure with the actual Two Kaiser roll call background. <laughs> there should be a disclaimer. No, does not come with display logo. Right? I feel like they need to do st- stuff like this when they advertise any figure. If it's got like a uh, a background that matches with it from the show, show it. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Seven Zinkaiser Pink would still be Kaido just d- dressed like a woman. It'd, it'd be <laughs> fucking if, hilarious. It'd be if ten high, times funnier that way. If the high school heroes taught us anything, anyone could be a Pink Ranger. I was exactly. gonna say no. If, if Don Brothers taught us anything, anyone I could be a fucking Pink say, Ranger. I was gonna say we're in an age now where male Pinks are okay. It doesn't matter anymore. They've always been okay. Wait, wait does that make Lane the hipster because he's he was the OG Pink Ranger? Yeah. Yes. No, I'm right. <laughs> and then and then Wright did it next. All right. And then there was that male Pink Ranger from the Power Ranger comic. Oh, and Zuo Human. Oh, yeah, Zuo Human. That counts. All right. And oh, yeah. Zenkai Yellow is a YouTuber. <laughs> I I want to see what Zenkai Yellow would be now. Damn. Easily shoppable. Oh, well, I know shoppable. it's easily Decker, shoppable. Get, get just... on it. Shop shop all the colors of Zenkaiser. <laughs> Every color of the Zenkai. Yeah. No, no we don't abuse Decker like that. No, Decker Decker loves doing it. Just... Don't you, Decker? <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway. Don't wait. you? <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of Don Brothers, uh, so you know how we got uh, Don Oni Taijin? Now they're doing a Don Robotaro movable enhanced version and departure option set. Now, now what, I, what I really like about this, what I really like about it, is that it's not an entirely completely different Oni Taijin. It's, an, it's just an upgrade set. It's just an upgrade for his dick so he can sit down. And then it comes he, with the with the, the seat chair. in the fan. Yeah, the seat in the fan. That's awesome. I can't believe yeah. they did this. So, so, so like, wait, it doesn't say how how much it is because we don't get those details until August twenty fourth. Yeah. But still, this is. I'd say it's honestly worth it. I'm surprised how much they've committed to this specific Megazord. Dude, because... it's it's it's. Busted! It's so powerful. It's so cool looking. Well, not not even that. It's fully articulated. Yeah. They like uh, you know what? Here's an upgrade kit. Yes, Go you nuts. are. You are isn't so all, articulated. Isn't it also like the biggest like main team mech in like forever? I'm not sure. Toy wise, for it is. Well, remember in the Ninja when they made the fully articulated like Shinobi Maru and Rodeo Maru? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get Rodeo Maru super badly, but then I just never got around to it. I just don't know why he was Cyan. Yeah, it makes him stick out. Hey, are the grandfather of the last ninja. It's getting exciting now! <laughs> My tacky time! Oh, man. I'm going to put those back in the box of things I've blocked out. Moving on. Hey, there we go. Yo, that looks awesome! Zenkai Blue! Oh, Zenkai's are blue. Guys, Zenkai's are awesome. blue. Oh! Should have shot the gun blue too. That would have been fucking the icing no, 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 on the cake no, 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 and cherry no. on top. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to go that far. But oh, oh, that That's hits my aesthetic sick. perfectly. Mwah. Such a good suit. But like, it's just it's just Kaito playing all five parts. <laughs> yeah, he just becomes his own Sentai team. I would love that. That's what I was saying. The Zenkai Sentai. <laughs> it's all him. Kaiser because Ranger. It, because, it's, because it's based off of like the Go Rangers first vehicle, like it was a bird. Yeah, the va- the very bird. Also, I think it's Seichan as well. <laughs> Kaito Sentai, yeah, yeah. wait. Yeah, they thought their robotic bird friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next on our news, we have another oh. Ranger Key Memorial set, which is fucking hilarious because we have a Don Brothers key set that I really need to talk about. Oh right, right. You my t- you god, talk the Inu Brother Key. The, the fact fuck? that they're still making these is awesome. Oh, they're freaking Inu Brother Key? You the, can tell they definitely they, based it on the stage so the, soon. They're the fucking Inu Brother Key, but he's shaped like a normal human. <laughs> um, Like, what pisses me off is that, like, they could have made 
a properly sized Inu Brother key because, like, they did the ranger key for the fucking frog from Go Busters. That was a key. <laughs> Oh, they could have just done that, Lane, but that would have been too much. No, it wouldn't have. It would have been on point, on brand. <laughs> it just Hell, flipped open the, the other Katie one. brother fucking key super long. That would have been hilarious. I actually would have laughed my ass off if there was just a super tall Kiji brother key. It's like it's like when they did the fucking quiz in Aquatilus fucking Dopont mem guy in memory. Like they made it like fucking huge. Well, the difference is the difference with that didn't. one is the fucking huge part of it is detachable. There's a normal guy in memory in there. Mm. I know because I have it. Oh, Kiji brother, nice one, seven. Yeah, and then Sora oh, brothers just normal instead of having his thick ass furry arms. Mookie nookie. So but, what's cool about? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. All right, so what's cool about this set is that not only does it include the Dawn Brothers, but it's also celebrating a bunch of anniversaries at once. So for the 40th anniversary, you have Dai Sentai Goggle 5 Ranger Keys, Zoo Ranger Keys to celebrate its 30th, Hurry Kenja for its 20th, and Go Busters for its 10th. And I think they Has are all Has it been all 10 painted. years since Go Busters? Yep. Yes. God, I'm I old. Have yeah it, it, trust me it also hit me too because go busters was the sentai that started when i got into sentai we got in lane and i got into sentai at go kaiger so not far behind yep yeah so just a year like a year off i remember when go kaiger came out because people talked about it on the pre-cure um live journal and that the dates how long ago it was Hey, there we go. Green, yellow, and pink. Nice. <laughs> Very nice work, Decker. Thank you. Oh, my foot just popped. That felt good. Oh, God, are you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I said it felt good. I'm not sure if these are all painted or they're probably stickers. I'm not sure. For a premium set, they should be painted. What is cool is these are the versions where they have the, the spring-loaded button that flips the key up. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I, I my like until Gar said the anniversary thing. I thought the reason why it was because these never got like DX keys. They were all like Gashapon. But then I, I remember Go Go Buster set had uh, had a DX. I release. think I think the Goggle Five keys were like they were part of that massive like final set mm -hmm. of Ranger keys to complete it. Uh, okay. Apparently, they work in the Mobarites. Yeah, yeah, of course they do. Uh, the Ranger Keys are compatible with the Mobile Rates Memorial Edition. Premium Bandai Web Exclusive Set, 14,300 yen, January release. For fuck's sake. Guys, you didn't even time it to celebrate these shows as anniversaries. <laughs> I feel sorry for the people who are fans of Don Torabolt. They're not going to get that key. Yeah, there's Thank only Star Goku. I'm upset about that. I actually prefer the silver version. Me too, but I still hate that it has gold on it. <laughs> uh, now I'm just afraid that Bandai is going to keep doing this every year. <laughs> Where it's like, oh, it's Dynaman's 40th. It's More Dino Ranger Rangers keys. 30th. More! Like they just re-release all the Ranger keys. Yep. But then again, this could mean we could finally get zoo like proper Zoo Ogre keys. Ooh. And proper Q Ranger keys. <gasps> and Luke Pat. And Pat, Pat Ranger. Set. Oh, Lane, would you buy a full Pat Ranger team Ranger key set? Uh, I mean, maybe. They did <laughs> release the Patronichigo one. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They all should right. just make all the keys available and you can make your own memorial set. <laughs> all right. Next on the news docket, something of a Saturn nature. No. One of the most prolific and well known singers of Tokusatsu music, Ichiro Mizuki, has apparently been diagnosed with lung cancer. No. Oh. Along with lymph node and brain metastasis, in addition to having fought vocal cord paralysis <laughs> last year. He is receiving Wait. therapy for his voice and motor functions, had surgery this past month to remove the growth in his lungs. Currently, chemotherapy is working. Music is focusing on getting better and planning his 50th anniversary celebration as a, uh, as a singer. Uh, hey. On his Twitter account, he stated that he will continue to aim to be active throughout his life, so please support him. 
Uh, he has been performing for just about five decades, including songs for Kamen Rider X, Stronger, New Kamen Rider, Black RX. Uh, in 2000, he was the fo- founder of Jam Project, which has done a lot of openings, including things for Garo. Wait, he was the founder of yeah, yeah, he is the founder. Oh, he's the guy that sung the Ultraman Orb opening. All right, that was good. Oh, well, freaking just sucks to hear, yeah. but good to hear. But good to hear that he is improving. Yeah, well, I mean, like the last time we heard about him, he like had to take a leave of absence. Like, oh, what happened? And then this gets dropped. And it's like, oh, there's our answer. That's upsetting. Mm-hmm. At least it's not all bad news. Yeah. All right. One of, my, one of my personal favorite songs of his right now is a uh, Gambare Robocon. It's adorable. All right. Moving on to our next news story, we have a couple of Gavan stories. Yeah. So, Discotech Media, uh, one of the bigger uh, anime distribution companies at the moment, uh, has announced the last weekend that they've got the rights to Space Sheriff Gavan. Yep, uh, it'll be. It's basically all the episodes that they got are from the official Japanese Blu ray transfer, so it's all HD remastered first, uh, or in first high time, definition. First time with the English subtitles. Yeah, as Gazan and not Gaban. <laughs> Fucking toy. Uh, it also, you know, and this is why I like Discotech. They go beyond that. <laughs> I you get know. a disc. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, they also subtitled the uh, Keiji Oba and Osamu Kanada interview that had that was on the original Japanese Blu-ray. Uh, there's a photo gallery. Oh my uh, god, a photo gallery! <laughs> yeah, uh, and I think the photo gallery was done by Mike Dent from Vintage Henshin. Who apparently also it's has like, a historical uh, essay on this thing. On this, it's like pre, it's like pre-ordering a fucking game and you get like an art book. Ooh, <laughs> art book. Hey, art books are pretty good, man. Eh, depends. You, you, you're just not into it, man. No, I'm not. You're not a real fan. No, no, no. no, no. You, real fans, they want to dive into. They want to be like, oh, what, what was this look? What did this look like before? <laughs> Tickle oh, I more. did in that voice. It tickled more. <laughs> yes, uh, Space Sheriff Gavan, the Blu-ray, is currently up for pre-order and will be released October 25th of this year. Neat. So we didn't get any new movie or special for Gavan's 40th anniversary, but I think this is good enough. Yeah, just in like, time happy- for Halloween. <laughs> happy 40th, Gavan. You get a release date side. Wait, <laughs> really? Yeah. Neat. Well, I mean, I think I think it's upsetting because, you know, like Kenji Oba is apparently like he, he he's like housebound. From what I heard, he he's had a stroke. No. Oh. Yeah. Um sorry to derail for one second, but apparently this is gonna be a Fall Guys set. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Jungle Book got King Louie, Mowgli, Baloo, and Shere Khan. How can it's they amazing. get how can they get away with it? Disney, how could you get away with because this? Because Fall Guys is owned by Epic and Epic has a deal with Disney. So Oh fuck, that explains it. Hey, um, for Christmas stuff before too. <laughs> Anyways, last news story, it's also Gavon related. Uh we're getting an ultimate article uh Gavon figure. Or rather, statue. Not yeah, and it's like fucking almost five hundred dollars. Well, have you seen how Holy big shit. the thing is? Uh, it's big. It's 40 super c- detailed. Forty centimeters tall. Light up features. Twenty five LED lights, along with the dynamic light and sound function gimmick. It plays the fucking background music. It lights up the laser scope. The dimension Fuck, it's over. Head. It's, 15, it's fifteen inches. It's over a foot. <laughs> This yeah, is my favorite photo that they have. Of it. I see. Yeah, I'm looking at it. They, they took they took the thing that outside. That just looks like the suit. Yeah, you yeah. know what? You know how much did he say this was? Five hundred? Yeah, uh, like forty three thousand. Forty three thousand four hundred and fifty yen. Releasing in December. Premium Bandai Web exclusive. You know what? That's definitely worth it for something of this big in quality. Look at all the lights on it. Jesus, that's detail. I, I love it. 
Wow. Fun little factoid about Gavan. Uh, his original name was supposed to have a Z in it. It's why on his chest he has a giant Z design. Oh, that's why the new one is called Type Z? Yeah. No, Type G. Oh, yeah, yeah Type G. Sorry, it's been a while. Gavan, Gavans. Is it, oh, yeah, my goodness. It Gav Gavans? E there, there's even, like, writing on the suit. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. You know what? There's little labels on shit. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. His Fuck. off button is clearly visible. <laughs> Why didn't Damaku think of this? There's the off bitch. <laughs> oh, off bitch. <laughs> I'd love, a, I'd love a fucking Robocop like statue of this fucking caliber. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, bitch. I wish we could still title episodes like that. No, I think we're going to call the episode Comrade Craig. Comrade Craig. <laughs> Comrade Craig. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's so big. So big. So, yeah, that's the it, thing. It's so big. Holy shit, that's how big. Oh my god, that is big. Wow. Oh, dude, dude, you could have it's the big as that man's stand. entire torso. That's like the tokusatsu fans equivalent of a lawn gnome. You know what? If they did Shider and Sharivan, imagine how cool all three of them were. Yeah. Yo, I, like, I want I want to I want a Kamen Rider Japan statue of this quality. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Lane, here's 20 bucks, go make it. Yeah! <laughs> if this was in Toy Story, it would kill a man. <laughs> oh my god, imagine just this teaming up with Buzz. Oh my Yo, god. Space Ranger with the Space Sheriff? Come on! By the way, Lightyear's now out on Disney+, Plus, so I can finally watch it. Whoa, yes, go yay. watch Socks, the movie. Alright. Yeah, watch, that... watch it for Socks. That's basically what I've heard, is that he's he's the thing that you watch Lightyear for, Socks. I'll just go watch the the original Buzz Lightyear movie. Imagine Toy Story, but with Tokusatsu toys. There'd be a lot of plastic missiles <laughs> flung around. I'd like to see that. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We have that. It's called Small Soldiers. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Small Soldiers. You I put munitions movie. chips in toys? We are the Commando that, Elite. That, Everything else is just a toy. I still can't believe that fucking movie came out on my ninth birthday. <laughs> Did you skip? Love that movie. I didn't ever saw it in theaters, but I bought it on VHS and I watched it constantly. So it's like a big part of my childhood. I always wanted a Jim Hazard doll. It's got the uh, dad from Transformers. Phil. Yeah, I Phil, remember. Phil, what? <laughs> I love this song. And Troy McClure. Does that count as Tokusatsu? What? Small Soldiers? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. If Live we action special okay. effects. Yeah. No. You know what? We'll talk about that movie on as a feature topic one time, and we'll definitely get sell on because he'll want to talk oh, about that movie. Fuck yeah! Oh, like, like no, like that's a feature topic where we all have to be together to <laughs> talk about. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll yeah. make that happen. Put it on the docket. Small oh, soldiers, twenty twenty three. I'm, I'm putting it on the fucking docket right now. Where's the docket? There's yeah. <laughs> There will be no mercy. <laughs> All right. Well, that is Fucking our news. Small soldiers. All right. We're excited. We're excited for Geats. This has been Geats Deets Part Three. Geats Yeah. Yeah. Geats Deets. Perfect. That, that's there's no there's no flaw there with calling. Also, 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 by the time this episode comes out, the the it will be hours before the conference for Geats. So that's yeah. the thing. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna know all the pro tags and such. Yeah. All, all the deets. All the deets. Uh, it, 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 insert reaction here. Reaction shot. Whoa, oh. just hit the beep. <laughs> I can't believe I can't, it. I can't believe there's a white guy in Geats. I would love if there's just a fucking English speaking <laughs> person in Geats. That'd be awesome. Well, in our in our feature topic today, we had the guy who just said "game on" in like perfectly clear English. Well, well that's because he's no. actually American. What if? What if? Hear me out. What if they do the same thing like they did with Ryuki and just adapted it like Dragon Knight? <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. No, imagine it's possible. It's fucking possible. This is totally worthy of an English adaptation. Look, Lane, what if Geats got added to Fortnite? Oh, it wouldn't happen. God, it won't happen. But I would love it. What if it did? Yeah, I, I, mean, I, would, fucking, I would buy it. I mean, fucking Naruto's in 
Fortnite. Anyone and, can be in Fortnite. Dragon Ball Dragon Ball's happening this month, so Okay. Fuck off. Well, I wouldn't say Naruto's reason that Comrade could happen because Naruto has been released westward. That is true. Yeah. Anyway, enough talking about Fortnite. Let's get into Revice. <laughs> it's finally happened! Tomoki is a writer! Yep. Yay! I'm His actually... weekend's officially begun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for Tomaki. I'm also happy for Tomaki. Yeah. yeah. I think. You know what? I think I can say it. Tomaki is probably my favorite character in the show. I knew he would be Gar. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I think it's like not even just just his entire character arc, and now he's finally. I wish he had his own writer design, but you know what? Yeah, oh, that can change. Also, that I can found change. I, I found out something. So apparently, Invincible Jean and Bibbidi Bobbidi Live were last minute additions because they like realized that they want like people were really liking Soccer and Daiji, and they wanted to give them like the kind of end to their development that they deserved. Which means their original plan was for Jean to never have a second form. Yeah. So the why we am I not surprised? Sakura so fucking much that she actually got the final form she deserved. So good job, community. Uh, yes, did the you, Baron treatment. Did you I'm, know that a bunch of her, uh, a bunch of her new parts are actually from Common Rider Poppy? Are they? <laughs> well, yep. my Poppy's yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, her sh- her shoulder pads are from Common Rider Poppy's shoulders. Oh wow. well, <laughs> so we won't be long, seeing her Poppy. No, we won't. Rip Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Rip but, Poppy, people, Poppy. But ding dong, the gif is dead. The evil gif, the fucking gif. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. No, I think no he's I'm gone. pretty sure he's actually gone because the rest of the show is going to be about fighting Juga. Mm, or fucking probably Sheik is who it is. Or it's Demi. That, no, we'll, oh, we'll get into that. But, we'll get into uh, Sheik. My... Ichi, what was the t- oh, implication that George is the final boss, which is kind of upsetting to be honest? That's what yeah. I was saying last week. What were you asking, Gar? Mm-hmm. Uh, what which Digimon was it that like died on the tower and then came back as like the big monstrous one where uh, War Greymon Mel Gururumon fought him? Like Demi uh... Demimon or something? Oh, it was Venom Iotismon. Yeah, Venom Iotismon. That's Venom it. Iotismon. Yeah, yeah. Like, they killed. I feel... I killed my or yeah. Venomiotismon was the one that War Greymon and Metal Gurumon fought. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be one of those things where like they defeat them and then he's gonna come back like ten times stronger. He'll be mm. Venom Gif. <laughs> yeah, I literally do not know where it's going to go in terms of who the fine what the final stuff they're facing is going to be. Oh, I mean, we got four episodes. I mean, I, mean I, it, it, I'm guessing that they're pulling the same thing that they did with the fucking Utopia Dopont, where like it, it, they just pull this villain out of nowhere for the last few episodes. Because it, it, it could be a case where like, oh, oops, we resolved the plot a few episodes too quick. We got to come up with something for the end. So let's just make George go insane. It's yep. weird because the Utopia Dopont and Kamen Rider Juga's helmets look very similar hey, in see? Actual, like design. <laughs> I was thinking that too when I first saw him. Because I'm just picturing Utopia, like the Utopia Dopont. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's almost the exact same, same colors as well. What yeah. the fuck, guys? My biggest thing that I was shocked about in this episode is seeing Daiji in normal clothes. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, what, yeah, what like he, he finally got um, rid of the goddamn Phoenix uniform. Also, when, I don't know why. This just made me like kind of I had to like I had to like take a second like look. It was just when Hiromi goes to visit George and then like at the end of the scene, George just goes Here's a bow. <laughs> like, like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, oh, what? you want to fight here? Have this bow that I apparently this had button. lying around. And, and apparently he's... He yeah. actually uses it to snipe a dude. Like, what the and fuck? And it was I, pretty effective. <laughs> like, I looked away for like two seconds and then just saw a guy with an arrow sticking out. And it's just like, okay, what happened when I looked away for two seconds? He yeah, is like guy. Hawkeye He doesn't have any powers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which means he's gonna get his own spin-off to feature a really cute girl. You mean lady you mean Hello Gaga or whatever the fuck? 
Oh, I yeah. fucking hated Avengers <laughs> Captain America the musical. It's so stupid. No, I found it. You know what? No, that perfectly describes the MCU now. They'll do anything for money. You say that like, like that's new. Like I was sitting there watching that musical section and saw Hawkeye reacting to it, and I was like, same Hawkeye, same. It was such cringe. So cringe. <laughs> It's, it, yeah, but like it's cringe in the best way. Vegas, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, um, it used to... Iki's getting worse. We're gonna come out with that as an actual thing at some point. I hope not. Yeah, Iki forgot that they have baths. Or, or did he forget what the concept of a bath is? No, no, I, they, they mentioned bath, but it wasn't until they were like, let's go have a bath. And he was like, which bath? So he knows what baths are. He just forgot that they own one. Yeah, I for some reason at first I thought that the concern wasn't due to him forgetting, but due to him not wanting to take a bath. But then I realized. <laughs> I remember that theory that you read where you're like, "What if gifts just icky from the future coming back to right and oh wrong?" God. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's so dumb. Wait, okay, so I didn't notice it in this in this episode because I probably turned away for a second or whatnot. Did they explain how um, Sakura got the new vice stamp? They said that Lovkov molted, and I they didn't show it, but I assumed that Lovkov molting produced the new stamp. Yeah, well, I guess that scene got cut. Aside. Yeah, I'm... yeah, too no, explicit. Think of this. Think of this. Think of it this way, guys. We got the scene where we see Hiromi with the bow and arrow, but we don't have the scene showcasing her getting her new her new vice stamp. No, because we needed Hiromi with a fucking bow and arrow, because that's awesome. According to. According to Decker it's, in our chat, apparently the Cobra stamp turned into the King Cobra vice stamp, so just, she just doesn't have her base form anymore, I guess. Oh, yeah. just like how there's no Holy Wing yeah. form anymore. Yeah, now, now we just got Bibbidi Bobbidi live. Oh, forget, forget how <laughs> Kagero just like, went in and out in this episode. Was oh, I love funny. that. I love that they were just having a conversation and just kept switching between Daiji and Kagero. That's great. I love that. <laughs> and it's Kagura yeah. who comes up with the idea that, like, hey, that pocket dimension is probably a weakness. Free sus. Yeah, but it's like his stomach, so they then invite to, like, beat him up from the inside. And the well, FF, they the when they talk about that, the FF14 player in me cringes at the thought of remembering the World of Darkness raid, where one of the mechanics is sending the team into the belly of the Cerberus to kill it from the inside. Ooh. It makes me think of Hercules cutting open um the Hydra from the inside. <laughs> Stop <laughs> with the whole head it. slashing thing! Yeah. Guys, guys, relax. It's only half time. Actually, halfway point of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my oh. god, I did not know that. That's amazing. Yeah, no, apparently yeah. when he says it's only half time, that's when half of the movie's already been done. So, like, that's why Disney's Hercules is my favorite Disney Genius. movie. <laughs> They're making Fucking a new great. one, actually. Yeah, they're they're adapting like new things, but also gonna take like inspiration from the animated film. So I'm very excited to see what they do with that. Just give me James Woods back as Hades. Uh, he's kind of a weirdo, so I don't know. No, Kevin Spacey's the weirdo. Anyways, no, right. so Just even even though all. even though I'm happy that Tamaki is now a common writer, they had to dunk on him one last time in that his debut is not the only debut in the episode. We also have Invincible Jean. Oh yeah, yeah, he didn't. I, I apologize, but I really, really like Invincible Jean. I, I, I it's not I it's any cool. way a, a dislike of Tomoki. No, I wish no, we had. No, I'm not talking about intentionally in universe. I just mean from a writing perspective. I, I wish we'd seen um Lovecov's actual molting happen and see what is underneath. But I think it's just like a spiritual. It's just, just shedding its it, skin. It, we, we don't have to budget. Yeah. What was, the, what was the? It was the buffalo stamp that like Tomaki was originally going to use. That's what I was yeah. going to say earlier. I wish that he had uh, the buffalo stamp instead of using Kawagata. I would have liked him yeah. to get his own form, his own exactly. version of Lower Demons. Exactly. Or or, 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 v- or pull an Aguilera and use the wolf stamp. Or you know we we got we got a few we got the possibility of V Cinemas left. Like he could always get himself a brand new form. Comrader Julio. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad that it's not Comrader Julio. Yeah, me too. Instead, yeah. he's another person who's got forms that have... Yeah. 
Um, so while Invincible Jean debuts, they play the the new insert theme for her, which is called Cherry Ish, apparently. Just as we got uh, the Mir- Mirage Mirror theme for Evility Live. So oh, I didn't uh, even notice that. Yeah, so so uh, Daijin Kagero and Sakura and Lovkov each got new insert themes to go with their new forms, so that's nice. Yeah, so basically, like, the whole reason this whole thing happened between them was because Sakura was trying to protect Love Cub, but Love Cub also wanted to protect Sakura, but Sakura didn't want Love Cub to protect her because she wanted to protect her. So now they just kind of agreed, okay, we'll protect each other then. And then that's where they finally bonded. Also, apparently this was the first time she summoned Love Cub, like... Yeah, she, like, stamped her to summon her out which was the was first like, time ah. summoning her not in combat. Yeah, and, and I actually, that was cute. I actually think the <laughs> idea for Invincible Jean is brilliant. So, like, the, Love Cub is basically now armor on top of Jean's base form, and it I is mean, able to autonomously attack with the tentacles that are sticking out the back of it. Because we knew that um that Love Cub would, um, has the ability to turn into things like weapons, so it, it makes sense that Love Cub then turned into armor. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Love Cub can now speak full sentences. So, I mean, it was able to before. Remember that episode where we went into its into its mind, and the, it was the bratty teenager with the locked door. Yeah, yeah. and the giant when headphones. It... Yeah. yeah. But now... yeah, we got this awesome fucking shot of the Igarashi siblings just fucking teamed up, and it was bad fucking ass. Like, oh my god, these fucking four. And I, I love, love that while they're preparing for this attack, they basically summarize the entire moral of the show about living with your demons. Living with your demons. <laughs> and Gif is actually dead. Yeah, they fuck him up pretty hard. Oh yeah. Until he becomes like a singular point, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, there's, I will there's say some the only, sort of anomaly in the sky left over. I will say the only thing that annoyed me in this episode was when Sakura and Hana were having like their fucking argument because it was just two women just fucking screaming at each other, and I was like, "All right, tone it down, please." I am your partner. All the fanfic writers, not that way. Ah. Well, I mean, Hana was just basically telling Sakura to just shut the fuck up and listen to Love Come for once. Experience character and- development, damn you. Like, and I Sak- it. Sakura mentions in this episode, it's like, this is the first time I've ever actually let you out yep. to yep. Rome. And it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you're right. So when she transformed, she never actually allowed her demon to come out, and now that she's reached that level, she's stronger and can use a cooler form. Yeah. Blaze, Sakura 16. It's a no no. <laughs> I mean her I mean her actor her actor is nineteen, but like yeah, yeah. soccer's like sixteen. <laughs> yeah, you know, the pull of that seventy show reference. You know, in my country it's illegal. <laughs> it's illegal here. <laughs> we never do we never do find out where Fez is from. That's a film theory. That's honestly a film theory that Matt Pat needs to do. <laughs> oh then who cares? She's actually nineteen. Yeah, I guess so. Um, also, yeah, so with George, apparently he's just really, like, knee, neck deep in making his perfect driver, and I guess he's just kind of in a really weird, bad spot right now. I assumed (laughs) that this was the Juga driver he was making, but since we apparently had god-tier timing with our feature topics, we, we find out that this is actually just the first Chimera driver he's making. Yep. But we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, but it looks so, like so next week. Like, it looks like next week is actually the debut of Common Rider Juga. So I guess a bunch of shit happens in the meantime. We're in the end game now. But like, I don't know. Ju- judging from the previews of it, it does look like like now that Gift's gone, they've all sort of like they're getting adjusted. ready to move on with their lives. Yeah, yeah. Like you see, like you see uh, Tamaki in the weekend headquarters, and like there's just boxes everywhere. It's just like. The story is coming to a close. The weekend weekend is over. <laughs> Back yeah, the to work. Weekend is over. It's just sort of an an, an now what do we do sort of moment, I guess. We everyone, live. Everyone works at the bathhouse. We have a bath. 
have a bath to oh my god what if this series ends with er- the whole cast having a fucking bath together <laughs> jesus christ just all of them squished into the one bath awkwardly one bath yeah that'd be uh, fucking hilarious oh i think i think the censors would be all over that be like nope nope no 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 well, no they no, just no, wouldn't no, show no, anyone no. waist down no. I don't know, like, it, when they went to that fucking one in the mountains, whatever, like that, like, they had all the guys bathing together, and I was like, man, they really was able to, like, not show anyone's dick in that shot. <laughs> it was incredible. It must have been an awkward okay. filming day. Yeah. No, man, the Dan Corrado. <laughs> I would have hated to be on set that day. <laughs> I would have been like, guys, I'm done. Just she probably has away. some sort of like Dr. Manhattan dick guard thing. <laughs> dick guard? Dick guard? Well, he's just wearing a Speedo. It's not a full Speedo, though. It's literally just a pad covering his front. It's not covering you the whole way around. Yeah, and then eventually he just goes, fuck it, I'm just going to wear it all, bare all. I don't care. <laughs> there was a little more Sheldon about Watchmen. It was weird. All right. Alright, Yeah! This episode is fraught with yet more bullshit! Okay, but we have to talk about the fucking best thing ever. The fucking... The guy who apparently, like... Uh, like... Uh, made Haruka, like called her out for being a plagiarist of his work it's Funny. pretty obvious now that we know that he plagiarized her work i mean yeah. w- that was safe to assume from the get-go because obviously when we meet haruka at the start we know she's not plagiarizing but like this is this this is the thing that should have happened like within the first 10 episodes like if haruka's being accused of being a plagiarist why the fuck did she not immediately go to this fucking asshole and go hey what the fuck but also, no, we just wait to wait till episode up- 22 for her to actually give a shit about her own career, which, as we also learned this episode, is not worth salvaging because she's fucking god awful at it. And and I mean, she also she also like apparently this guy is just good at copying people because she also he he or she also copies her curry no her beef stroganoff beef exactly stroganoff yeah it's, it's like it's... like mine. It's rumored that the person underneath the bunny suit is her aunt. <laughs> that would be amazing! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that would explain a lot. All I can say is that's a manga plot right there. Like, that would be like the best blow that Haruka could have against her. She figures it out, then writes that as a twist in her in her in her manga, and then the aunt sees it and knows she knows. I just can't oh. believe that she's she's you know what she's she's been writing fucking self insert manga. Her main character is named Haruka. Not just that, your name is Haruka Kanata, which is a freaking fun. <laughs> and also the second Naruto <laughs> opening. Also, let's face it, it's it's probably Kaito underneath the bunny suit. I w- that would also be hilarious. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing ever if Kaido was the fucking guy who like Fuck copied her, her fucking work and like accused her of fucking plagiarism. Now that's that entrapment. Would, would make Kaido the single best fucking character in type ever. I this turn man, asshole, Kaito. Yep. <laughs> um. What? Why? Why is it that like he's so like fucking energetic and happy and everything and fucking Zenkaiger, and then he comes to this fucking world and he's just this fucking because asshole? It, because it's not him. I've been saying this but all show. Apparently, it is him. No, <laughs> I refuse. Well, he's I don't want to be undercover. But apparently, it's him. <laughs> Bully Kaido. Bully Kaido. She puts all the other Don brothers as fucking transfer students, and Sonoza, having experienced exactly one manga, goes, Wow, this is so innovative! Uh, I'll be truly honest. He also calls out a bunch of other stuff as, This is not realistic human behavior, and I'm thinking, like... (laughs) Even he knows that, so there's got to be a problem. And he's the one trying to learn human behavior, and he can smell the bullcrap that is her awful writing. 
I oh. like how this turns into an idol hero manga for no reason at one yeah. point. She yeah, turns that explains into goddamn she... Potrin! Yeah, that, that explains why she had that form. It's because it was the manga that yeah. did it. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, okay, so you had Haruka as the insert, and then it was Kiji brother what? as the other transfer student in the glasses. No, 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 that no, was no, Momo. No, no, he was the teacher. He was the home teacher. Oh, Kiji oh, brother was, was the, the teacher? gym teacher. I didn't recognize yeah, was... him at first either, but that was him. Okay, so I was trying to figure out who was who. The dude in the glasses was Taro because he had the his glasses were red. Was that Taro? Yeah, the Ooh, shy dude was I... fucking Subasa. I don't think oh, they yeah. put Saruhara anywhere. Oh no, no, they put uh, Sona's uh, in the uh, uh, as the other transfer student. Sona, no, Sonoe is the the romantic yeah, one. Yes. But yes, yeah, sorry, no, again, this is apparently Kijino's fucking first acting role, and he's. Like, he's fucking killing it. <laughs> so good. I'm, I genuinely didn't recognize him. I actually, I this is not a word of a lie. I didn't process that the gym teacher was Kijino until 20 seconds ago. <laughs> I didn't realize it was him. Until, yeah, because like, he was wearing pink. And I was like, oh, it's Kijino. I, I looked at him and I'm like, who, who the fuck is that? Yeah. I it was Taro. I can't see That's him without his glasses. Yeah, that's why I'm like, this is this man's first fucking acting gig ever, and he's fucking killing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, good job. And then all of them confess to her, and, and then it becomes the fucking <laughs> Poitrin manga. And, and Jesus Christ. I like I like that she get Haruka gets summoned into battle later, and like Taro's just like, where the fuck have you been? No, several <laughs> times we awkwardly cut between the she's kidnapped and drawing manga, and we're fighting the Mega Ranger monster with zero like transition shots. I liked the Mega Ranger monster; he was cool. It was asking for interesting stories, but puns and haikus also counted. Yeah, this, Gar this Gar one rando was like, I, I once heard a story about heaven. It came from someone higher up. <laughs> All right, did it. you also know? Did you also notice that his head like did like the the thing like the Mega Ranger helmet do? Yeah, but he had a I, I saw that. Uh, that was like great. That. that was funny. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, I'm just currently working on something quickly. I, I I have to say I'm enjoying Haruka's descent into insanity. As, as she realizes she's in a slump and she starts imagining herself as Taro's fucking uh, entourage. Oh my goodness, guys. It is him. <laughs> oh my god. Now it makes sense. He pulled a car <laughs> tent on us. Yeah, like I first thought, like. I <laughs> saw <laughs> a hat. That's yeah, going to red glasses. Now. Yeah, he's got red glasses. subasa has got like a blue back, uh, black like backpack with straps or whatever. And then yeah, really, Sony has uh, yeah, blue. I'm not, I'm not kidding. You have to put that in the in the, in the thumbnail because absolutely. <laughs> Clark <laughs> so <PG> now. <laughs> no, no. He did. see things like that happening is proof that Clark Kent could get away with it. <laughs> I, I can't argue that. No, Kirk not the who changes his mannerisms as well when he's he not Superman. Changes. You know what it is? Yeah, he does. You know what it is? It's the hair. The hair is so fucking different. That. You know what? <laughs> nothing nothing still beats though. Okay. Uh, at least I can find out who the Flash is. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> <laughs> Clark Kent uh, Wally West. Batman. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Batman. Yeah, someone edits where he takes off the cow. It's just Batman. Again. <laughs> Batman. So, so the show decided to forget who Murasame is for an episode and instead remember that this is a Sentai that can Avatar change into the other Sentais. Yeah, they turned into Five Man because five they man. were they were high school teachers. Yep. I didn't know that. Yeah, and they and they fought the Den the Denji <laughs> Demon. Denji key. And then, it, and then it was after it was Turbo Ranger and they were students. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It was Turbo Ranger came first, so they were high school students. Five, then it was Five Man, where they're high school teachers. Mm, they grow up so fast. And then he had Change Man, which is just a soap pop. Mm. I will say it was awesome that the monster had fucking rocket fists, just like the Mega Ranger robot. I don't, like, I don't think it did have rocket fists. 
I think it did. It, it, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't have rocket vests. I re- why do I remember I, rocket vests then? I At least in Power Rangers be- in Space. I refuse to believe Moon Knight actually talks like this. It's not. It's a fan of it. Okay. I mean, I could, I could tell, I could, I could, I could see fucking Mark talking like that, but like, not Steven. Steven's a good boy. <laughs> Wait, just forget, get, Galaxy Glider Surfboard Edition. <laughs> yep. And then Momo Intense. proceeds to s- counter spike it in half. That was rad. But it's just freaking Jiro. Hey guys, can I join? No. Get out of here, nerd. No. Yeah, no, I feel so bad for Jiro this episode because they okay. hate him because they hate his other persona. <laughs> Which is fair. Okay, he tried to kill them. So, so uh, Decker just sent this in the chat. Yeah, so what see, it I was told you. That, well, no, it, what I was forgetting is that it was the combined mode that did the rocket fist. Yeah. I thought the joke with Jiro was supposed to be that um, since it's five man, there's no six ranger. <laughs> No, they just don't like. They just don't like Jiro. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 it's like the only reason. Like Taro even explains it. The only reason he keeps him around is because he's also a Don, and they might be a part of the same Don clan. Oni Chan? Yeah. Nah. No. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Taro's Taro's so savage. But, but then that just made me think. Wait, but Taro, where are you going? Do you have a home? Where's oh, your home? Oh God, where does Taro live? Oh, I'm tired. I mean, I mean, have you seen shots of him and Jin in, in some sort of apartment? And everyone moved out of that apartment, so I guess he just lives alone in that entire apartment building. I can oh. see him doing. Um. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe Kaito has like a spare room in the back for him. And yeah, he just I, goes around. I like seeing the manga guy in just a, a fucking buddy suit because he doesn't reveal his identity. That was so it's... fucking bizarre. Yeah. Oh next... man, I cannot wait for next episode. Uh... <laughs> he goes on a date with fucking what's her face and he new brother. Yeah. So Subasa in the next episode, Subasa gets stuck. Not Subasa. Yes, yeah, Subasa. Yeah, Subasa. Uh, he gets stuck in his ranger form. So he's just a dog. Everyone thinks he's a dog, so they treat him like a dog. <laughs> Give me that dog he didn't hurt to. They look like. And uh, also, we're probably gonna well, get the... a. We're probably gonna get an answer to the whole split personality thing with. Oh uh, what? They're fighting with... separately. Maybe he can summon them. Summon the the uh, other form. Don't know. Maybe. That'd be interesting. Oh and yeah, and his Megazord gets a debut next say, yeah, week. we're gonna see his Megazords. Also, I like manga. I like when episodes focus on manga. Yeah, I do. T- Remember the but manga I- Zenkaiju <laughs> episode? Yes. Wait, I believe I still have it. I actually got merchandise. Uh, cool. Uh, sent that photo Zenkaiju. <laughs> exactly. There it is. Found it. Uh, nice. I- Sorry, yeah. Emily, you're cutting out. The um the zero one episode with the manga Oh yeah, yeah, the manga robot. Oh, that, was, that was also a good episode. I just like episodes when they focus on manga. Yeah. I also note to self: I need to keep watching Shirobako. It's an anime about friends that uh, get jobs in the anime industry. Oh, in cool. uh, in, jo- in JoJo Part Four, there's a uh, there's a stand user who's a manga artist, and his stand's ability it's called Heaven's Door. It gives him the ability that anything he writes becomes a reality. <laughs> cool. I listened yeah. to I, I somehow listened to one of the JoJo openings today. It was like Stone Ocean. So he could be like, so he could be like, I could be like, he could be like, Gar can speak fluent Japanese, and then you learn fluent Japanese. Huh. Making, making me think of um the our joke that we had about Waz being able to do that. Yeah. Oh, this book of future. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or was oh, no, it was Froz. It was French Waz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Soga, why did you take a shit? I don't know. I just had to. It's <laughs> scary. It's scary to realize that fucking the end has that book now. Yeah. He, he stole that. <laughs> so Kasa and I are written out of the fucking franchise. <laughs> Tired of coming back. Well, apparently Sukasa's dead, so yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Show up in sixtieth question mark. We'll see you in the next Maybe. anniversary. 
See him in the next episode. And I'm a ghost. Or am I? All right, back yeah. to revise. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, yeah. I like how you hesitated when I said that because I also felt like the Chimera special was episode one of a completely different show. I I Wait, really. <laughs> Like revice as as um Dom Brothers feels like feels like uh Zdenkaiger. Like they feel like they have about as much in common, but then it sort of just had cameos of things related to Revice in it, but also George's dad's demon is named Cheek and he's basically like the Joker. Yeah, so we like we were saying earlier, we apparently had god tier coincidental timing in choosing to talk about the Chimera special this week because it immediately follows the scene with George at the end of episode forty six. I thought he was working on the Juga driver, but apparently this is the Chimera driver that's going to be in the movie, and has the coolest time. Masumi's demon, who was put into George from the conversation we had before, gets extracted. And it's this fucking clown-looking dude named Chick, or Sheik, however you want to say it. She, it's Sheik. <laughs> and if you look at his hair, that perfectly explains why George is the way he is. Yeah. Huh. And, and yeah, Decker brought up before I could. Uh, Cheek's voice actor is also the one that does the, the uh, vice stamps. I thought oh, it was that. That's awesome. That's, that's great. That's so amazing. That's Oh my god, which means that's probably like the voice that's been talking in George's head all the fucking time. Yep. And then that's where you got the idea to make that voice for the belt. And yeah, app apparently they had Gif's fucking eyes. Yeah. So, uh, so those when, are his balls. When, so when Vice went into the pocket dimension and he fought the, the giant like totem pole the, thing? The coffin? Yeah, the coffin, when he punched it, the eye inside of it flew out. Oh. Yeah, I, I and was, then when before we started when, uh, recording, I was I was him, another eye came out. I was I was asking the Discord if someone could shop GIF, but with his eyes back in. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> way up there now in the chat. Just um, see that. Okay. Post it again. But yeah, so so George apparently makes the Chimera driver because he wants to make a belt that doesn't rely on a demon, uh, but it is still using a vice stamp, which is the twin Chimera vice stamp. So he tries to henchin with it, and he actually says henchin, but the, the, of course it fails. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't it's call like that got... a successful shot, but... It's like, he, it's like he's got googly eyes. Yeah. I love googly eyes. So, uh, oh, I, I never noticed Gif's pants before. Sorry? Or like, I never noticed Gif's um, amazing gold lame pants before. Oh, yeah. He's got pants. You could I like say that George did the Hongo henshin sequence, though. You could say that GIF is very chic. He is. <laughs> Why chic? I don't know. Um, no, because he's he's chic. Because he's very cool and stylish. Yes, I also agree that that was a cool intro with the T TTFC. Yeah. So. Like I said, this feels like episode one of a completely different show because we get introduced to Nozomu and his family and his best friend Mukai, uh, who goes to try a new experimental drug from Dr. Sotomi, and it turns out that the drug is the Chimera Driver. So this entire miniseries, or this entire special, is nothing but Cocker Ranger cameo after Cocker Ranger cameo. Yeah. Oh, is the dad it, someone from Cocker Ranger? Sorta. So his mother is uh Surihime, Ninja White. Oh wow. Oh fuck. His his dad is Seiji Takaiwa, who is Ninja Red. Suit actor. <laughs> well it is Seiji Takaiwa, okay. Yeah. I, I, I thought that's thought who that so. was. And then the doctor was Ninja Red's actor. Nice. Oh my god. I, I thought it was weird how like animated of a character he was, and then we find out he was possessed by Sheik, and that explained everything. Yeah. I don't know why this gave me a lot of like Kaiza vibes to it. Kinda. Where it's like you know there was the whole group of the orphanage that would like take turns with the belt. Yeah, and and yes, uh, Azuma slash Daimon is also Ninja Black. That's why he was talking English. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm King Kusagi. 
there was this where in order to show that she possessed him he just turned into david pumpkins for a second yeah what the fuck was with that temporary form <laughs> apparently that's a big thing in the movie so i was going to say is that what he looks like in the movie yeah all right why is he so oh, but evil? He, no. Because, and because context, it's just like, okay, that's a guy, and then... Also, one thing we need to talk about for a minute, I'm pretty sure Ozma snapped Hiromi's fucking neck. Yeah, yeah. I'm that, pretty sure. That doesn't get addressed any point later. It no. looked like he just snapped his neck and left him for dead. Maybe he just, like, knocked him out. Yeah, but that really looked like a neck snap. I don't know. Speaking of uh, speaking of Kaiza, <laughs> just, just I don't know why, but I love the Comrade Chimera suit. The suit's okay. I do too. Oh, I bet you do. I it's do. orange. Yeah, oh. I know. I know. Biased oh. by being being Chimera and that chime. I will say oh, I really like oh. the Chimera chimes. Like the oh sounds. my god! All fucking day since I watched it yesterday, I've just been going, "Come on, Chimera, Chimera, Chimera!" So good. Like, this common like, rider like, looks Tonka tough. Like I just yeah. like how different he looks, but how similar he could be next. To, like if you put him next to like Revine Vice, he could look like he's from the same show. Yeah. Which is the bare minimum, really, isn't it? <laughs> I like. I like. He's also like one of his one of his uh, animals is a is a crab. So a king and crab. Orange. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if it's a reference to scissors. Oh, freaking! One of his rider kicks he does is a freaking. I swear it's a Garen reference, or not a Garen, but like one of the hate like I was, early hate. I was thinking O's Burakawani. It's Wait, it's a, re it's a Rachel Baird Rex? <gasps> Did they destroy the Baird Rex suit? Probably. Oh, don't just say that. That's Emily's favorite suit. But yeah, so Chimera oh. is King Crab and Crocodile. And Rip. then oh, uh, when, we see, when we see Daimon later, it's a Tri Chimera made of Octopus, Black Rhino, and Omukade, which apparently is Scolopendride. I don't know. What the fuck? Yep, <laughs> I don't know what the, like, like, layman like, term of that animal is. I like I like that Kane Kusagi's in it because it was really funny when I found out that he he was Ninja Black and Cocker Ranger because Sentinel. he uh, okay. you know because he played he played Ryu Hayabusa in the Dead or Alive movie oh. and and yeah yes that same Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that was really dope. Ooh, I also want to. Um, I also like the little thing of like. Even though there's only a clip on the on the vice stamp and when he transforms, I like that there's just enough difference to make them feel like two separate riders. Yeah, the the suits are definitely noticeably different, especially around I the like, helmet and shoulders and the I, fact that like, Diamond has a cape. I like the yeah. belt I like the belt goes scrap. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like, what the part meant. I what? think I think it's because it's like scrapping together several animals into one composite. Oh, so but I wouldn't call that scrapping together, like a scrapbook. Maybe. Uh, yeah. No, I think no. it's like scrap, like scrappings of like different animals combined together. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know. I'm sorry. It seems like a weird. It is interesting that there is a twin chimera and a tri chimera. The fact that they're separate power sets is interesting. I, it's just, again, they look so different, but so similar. Yeah. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. Like, I, I don't mind them, but like... Trimera and Vimera. I can't help but like them. No, that's fine. I just, eh. They, j j like I said, Jack revises the best suit in the show for me. But yeah, uh, oh yeah, freaking... This thing's directed by Koichi Sakamoto, in case you didn't see all the Dutch angles. Fucking course yeah. it's directed by Koichi Sakamoto. That, <laughs> these... he, didn't he just get an award recently? Yeah, he got an award recently. I don't know for what. I, I think for, just for probably. being the good action director. <laughs> He's mm -hmm. been in the, the, the fucking genre for... Almost 30 yeah. years. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this so guy... Could... Sorry. Ooh, it did. So yeah, this guy Azuma was apparently someone who was also contracted to GIF like Hideo was, and now he's like, well, humanity's fucked, so I'm gonna judge them. So yeah, I first, I first 
first didn't realize that that was him in the beginning because oh, like he, he had, had the hair. Hair. Yeah, I didn't recognize him. And then I love that. Like you see him later, he's still wearing like his hobo clothes, but he like cut his hair, but it looks terrible. Like, Where'd you then, go for a haircut? And then you see him at the end, he's dressed in like a better suit, but he actually like got a proper haircut. So yeah. I'm kind of like the like evolution of him throughout the fucking special. So that's really cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he goes, came on. <laughs> also, how is it that he has a photo with Icky in it, but the Igarashi family doesn't? I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, don't Chip, ask too much. <laughs> Chip was the one that handed him the photo, so maybe he got the photo from George. Ooh, maybe. Also, speaking of Koichi Sakamoto, here's a cool video. Oh, I love that video. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, Azuma steals the Chimera driver, pulls the Tri-Chimera vice stamp out of fucking nowhere, uh, henshins and proceeds to murder Nozumu's family, as well as Mukai himself who mutated into a monster. So all that's left now is Nozumu with the twin Chimera stamp, but no belt to use it in. Which will probably get explained in the summer movie. Yeah. Six months from now. Yeah, but we won't... (laughs) I'll definitely rewatch this before the movie. Oh, me too. Because it was just probably a good idea. I, I don't know why. I just loved it. Yeah, they, like they it actually too. managed to pack an impressive amount of story into a half hour thing. I, I think in half an hour, but not so long that it was like excruciating. Yeah. You, you know what it reminds me of a bit? It reminds me a bit of the whole Mewtwo like backstory in the first Pokemon movie. Oh, and then they we- brought it back. We attempted to create the greatest common Rider, and we succeeded. Oh my god. <laughs> I was never born, I was created. <laughs> now, George, now, George, now George in his own V-Cinema is going to get an island and fucking summon all the best common Riders around the world and have them do a fight each other to he, see who's the, the best rider. No, no. Dude. Wait, how'd you get my Rider War fanfic? This I is can this is hilarious Hello. because George already has an army of rider clones. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mewtwo stamps back. <laughs> Mewtwo stamps back, oh my god. Oh fuck's sake. So so it looks like so it looks like the Igarashis are going on an adventure and they don't know what's in store. And Nozomu is like creepily following them, but also <laughs> so is Az, 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 Azuma. Azuzu. 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 Man. I will spit out a leopard. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm very excited for the Battle Familia movie where this plot will continue, but we won't get to see that for a few months. Okay, we'll be like fucking like January oozing oozing over fucking geats for yeah. five months, so we'll be good. <laughs> what if Geats just ends up being shit and it's just like Oh, look, here's his very first appearance. <laughs> Remember when we had high hopes? <laughs> high, we got hopes. high hopes. <laughs> Same brain. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. No, that was really good special. Yeah. And that's Cast Ranger. I- I'm Ooh. glad I watched it. I guess I should probably go watch the other Revice stuff I haven't watched yet. Fucking like the yeah. Hi- like the Hyper Battle video. And the mystery mini series. The mystery we series. We still haven't is finished good. that yet. <laughs> yeah, we finished it. Did we? I'm pretty sure yeah. we did. Oh, I th- oh, that's right. I wasn't there for that, so I never finished it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'll then check my handy Gardner. dandy fucking discussion index. Yep, one, oh, one through okay. five. And yeah, you were okay. not there for the finale. I was not there for the finale. You, sounds, like you'll, sounds like you'll have to go back and listen to Cast Ranger episode three eighty one. But I don't like listening to episodes where I'm not in them. That's narcissistic. Just like Garden, just like, Garden like listening to episodes where he's in them. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to... That's just being self-conscious. Look, I don't want to look back on myself and be like, Gart, shut the fuck up. I just can't I'm, wait to finally talk I'm about the so Saber Ghost cringe. special. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of which, Lane, I bumped that up on the schedule, so now we're talking about that in October because spooky. Yeah. Ooh, yay. Spookers. I, for, I remembered that Bibiru Gates was the thing, and oh I fucking rewatched like, the handshake for that. I just love it going, Bibiru! I actually <laughs> I really love, like I that like form. Yeah. yeah, no, that suit's like was 
did not deserve to be that well made. <laughs> All right, but in the meantime, <gasps> Jikai Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Since Futo PI has debuted, we're going to talk about episode one next week. Yay! Should we do the first really two episodes? If the oh, yeah, second episode, well if the yeah, second episode is sub by then, then yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, like it's legally on available Crunchyroll. on Crunchyroll, so it'll be out on like, Saturday. That's my favorite night. kind of available. Yep. Cool. Speaking of animes, go check out my uncle from uh my uncle from another world. I thought you were yeah, about your to uncle's say, from check another world in I, an anime? Cool. I thought you were about to say check out the anime my uncle made. <laughs> Also, go check out my my ex girlfriend is my step is my stepmother's daughter. You should go. You should go That's watch. That's not a porno. I swear. You should go watch One Piece. The one the one o arc's almost done. I'll, I'll, I'll watch One, one Piece, Piece once once the final arc starts in the anime. It's it. I think it's starting soon. I know it is. Don't it's miss the boat. Freaking didn't. Didn't the creator take like, take like a month off just so that he can like rest up and then start the finale? Yeah, and then he and then he made a statement saying that the finale is going to be a fucking wild ride. And, and it's yet, probably going to take like what three years to finish. The only person who knows the ending to One Piece was this dying child because that was his wish to find out the ending to One Piece, and he got to hear it, and then he passed away sadly. Could you imagine if he leaked it before he passed? No, of course no, not. not. But he, no, this but was like he did, early 2000s. He did, he did quote on his thoughts of the ending of One Piece, and he said it was beautiful. So, yeah, but watch the author. Like, he told him the ending, and then like years later, he just keeps thinking about Changes the ending. His mind. How, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he just, that. yeah, he keeps reworking it that to was the point where it's like the same <laughs> That was like the second draft ending he had in mind. <laughs> And my anime recommendation, like Seven in our chat says, is Overlord. My favorite mm. isekai anime. Also, go watch Love After World Domination. I need to catch up on that. I'm only What I'm is only with these this one. fucking anime titles? Jesus Christ. This is nothing new, bro. <laughs> anime titles have been long forever. There's there's one called like fucking like slime in a fucking dungeon or some shit. I don't fucking know. Oh yeah. I, I also found out about this cute little anime called like uh. For the time. I, I can't remember the name of it. Basically, it's about this loser high schooler, in which his entire class gets isekai into this world. But like the game creator felt sorry for him. He's like, you know what? You go out into the woods. You go get experience while your friends here get freaking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> one one recent incarnation of cyber isekai anime I've recently been introduced to is <laughs> I didn't want to get hurt, so I put all of my points into defense. Oh and- no, that anime fucking slaps! <laughs> so good, <laughs> so busted. <laughs> like she has a shield and armor so powerful, she takes no damage. <laughs> yeah, and then like she built like poison resistance because yep. like she got poisoned so yeah, much. Yeah, Bo- Bofuri is the 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 anagram for it. Yeah, Bofuri Bofuri's great. I thought you were about to say Bofuri's nuts. <laughs> Bofuri's nuts. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's enough. Thank you for Anime listening. Talk. Go go subscribe to Crunchyroll. Thank you for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, being awesome. Primary source: castranger.podbean.com. Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Merch Store, Discussion Index, all of the fun things that I put my heart and soul into that no one looks at. Oh, Hey, I tuned in. <laughs> also, I beat Digimon Survive. It was disappointing. I'm so sorry. I think, I think it's because everyone was expecting it to be like an open world Digimon game and it wasn't. No, but that's the thing. I knew exactly what it was going in. I, I like visual novels because I played Danganronpa. I love tactical RPGs because I put 200 hours into Fire Emblem Fates and 200 hours into Tactics A2. And I'm a huge Digimon fan. The stars aligned. This game should have been amazing, but it was not. And I have i won't go into detail why, because I would have to get into spoiler territory. Yeah. I did not do New Game Plus, but I know about all the different endings, and I know I've, I've watched videos of them. Anyway, that is all. Thank you once again for enjoying Cast Ranger. We will see you next week. Goodbye! Take care and stay safe.